while. Plenty of surprises in the midfield. So where do we start, Ant? Well, I think we have to look at Connor Sport. And for me, they've been the biggest surprise so far. And Butler, he's doing fantastically well. The thing is, though, they've got to sustain that over the course of the whole season. And that is easier said than done. We certainly want Kasper Ackerman to be hoping that this season is better than his last. I have bigger things going on than Casper. Do you have any regrets about 2023? Anything you'd have done differently? No. No, I'm in a good place now. Besides, what's to uh, regret about being the story of the season? Dad! Devon. How's business? Same as ever. Hiring and firing. How's racing? Oh, you know, ducking and driving. You all prepared? Of course, I've uh, double-checked the strategy changes. I'm just going over my notes now. Everything's covered, just like always. Uh, they won't see me for dust. Spoken like a true butler. Just remember, we've uh, got a lot on the line this season. Yeah, yeah, I know. Deb, I'm serious. You're carrying this team, don't forget that. Yeah, well, you keep signing these second-rate drivers. I, I can't do all the work. Just remember where we'd be. Where you'd be if this were all to go belly up. Just trust me, Dad. You, you, you've you got nothing to worry about. Devon, I mean it. If you don't bring your A-game, it's back to the bottom of the pile. Do you really want that? No. No, I don't. Just keep it in mind. Now go out there and show me what you can do. Already on it. I'll get you those points, Dad. Good boy. Speak later. Hello, guys! Turbocharged 51 over here! I hope you're having a splendid day wherever you are in the world. And guys, we didn't start this episode like usual because there was an immediate cutscene and then a phone call. But oh my goodness, we are as Devon Butler going to Bahrain. No way. Why do we have to drive as this butt hat of this butt paper? Why do we have to drive as him? No, I don't like him, but I guess that's part of the story and I'm super excited. Let's get into the news. Trackside chats, Casper Ackerman, he's back and this time he's calling the shots. You guys know the drill by now. If you want to read that, pause the video and enjoy yourself. 2023, we look ahead. It's that time again. So we say welcome back to Formula One. Welcome back to the hype and the expectation. So uh, the runners and riders, yeah, say hello, we are okay. They here we go. Drivers to became team drivers that became team principals from cockpit to office. It's the whole Casper Ackerman story. Three, two, one, pause. Okay, goodbye. So Joel Media. Devin Butler's got 2.3 million followers. For what? Being negative. Okay, I don't understand that, but I'm just checking for you guys. Oh, David Coulthard. Do you guys know for whose tweets I'm, che I'm checking? Oh, yeah. David Coulthard. You can feel the anticipation all through the paddock. A real sense of excitement. Sim Sim Jimmy Jimmy Broadbent. I'm amazed that Jackson stuck around at Connor Sport this season. The way he was treated in 22, I blame the butlers. Huh? Jimmy is onto something. Um, Acker, my man. So Casper Ackerman. Jimmy Broadbent, I imagine Casper joining the team had something to do with that. They're old racing buddies. That is very true. So that's not the actual That's not the actual Casper Ackerman. It's a Casper Ackerman fan. Uh, Crofty and Ackerman and Jackson reunion. I'm starting to feel all nostalgic. Hashtag Connor Sport. Anything else worth reading? And uh, Nope. So that is social media caught up. Let's check out the emails. Casper Ackerman. It's the first race of the season. And yes, I will be reading this. 
and I'd like to congratulate everyone on working so hard to get us all here a lot of the time the public only sees the thin end of the wedge they only really take in what they see on the on race day but it takes an army of you so we can roll out cars up to uh, to the grid and wait for uh, roll the cars up to grid and wait for lights out each and every one of you holds equal importance at Connor Sport for it's only when we all pull together as one that we can show the world what we're made of it's the 2023 season let's make them what let's show them what we're made of good luck out there Casper team principal at Connor Connor Sport Butler Global Racing Team. Holy moly, that's a mouthful um, from one old driver. Okay, I'm not going to read that. You guys can read it. Um, uh, email, there's something attached to view attachment. Um, okay, okay. So, um, interesting. Um, Bar and International Circuit. I don't know exactly what we're looking at, but okay. Um, we'll take it as, <laughs> I guess we're taking it as like that. Bar Rain Grand Prix Race Day, Chapter 7. With his confidence high, Devin Butler looks set to start the season strong at the Bar Rain Grand Prix. Oh, that's going to happen. What a race we have in store for us today, with a competitive field ready to do battle once again. Hold on to the edge of your seat. It's time for another Formula One Grand Prix. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Russell, Alonso P3, Perez, Hamilton, Sainz, Stroll, Ocon, Norris, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Jackson, Gasly. Okay, I didn't 13. Bottas, Butler. Sergeant, <laughs> We're going from P17. Magnussen, De Vries, and Nico Hulkenberg rounds off the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. 2023 Bahrain. We're about to get going, and I hope you've enjoyed the build-up just as much as we have. The teams are ready on the grid. They're ready in the garages too, but in the Come on, I want to get going. Are you ready, Ant? Of course I'm ready, Crofty. New season, new challenges for all of them out there, drivers and teams. I love this part of the year, Crofty. This is where it really kicks off and you get to showcase all that hard work you've done through the winter months. Does it pay off? Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? What does the 2023 season have in store for us? We're about to find out. OK, Devon, it's a brand new season. You know that, so let's start it as we mean to go on, OK? Okay, let's get out there. Come on. <laughs> it's going to be good. Guys, have we got a full race to do? Damn. Okay, it looks good. looks good. Um, I don't want to do eight laps on the soft. So I'll do seven, seven. That's good. And then we're going to do... The fuel here is quite bad. So I'm going to do 1.5 laps of extra fuel just to see what happens. But yeah, let's see what we can do for <laughs> Devin Butler. Primary objective. Finish in the top five. Okay, that's not, that's going to be fun. Here we go. Bonus objective. Finish in the top three and get the fastest lap. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I was sleeping on the lights there, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's a nice little dive up the inside. Just booted past the ash tree. Okay. Let's check how everything goes. Can we go around the outside of Gasly? No, we cannot. The rear end is a bit wonky. Bit of dirty air there. Jeez, they broke early. That's 11th. 
Stroll really had a bad start and he started P8. How do I still hit them and I break so early? Oh, that was a good exit. Come on, Alex. Give me some room, my guy. Thank you. Around the outside, and that's officially points. Did we already pass Aiden? I think we did, yeah. Come on. We got we got this. Okay, now we need to catch Ocon. Well, pass Ocon. We've already caught him. We need to pass him. Come on, Esteban. Dive bomb boy, Mickey! No DRS just yet. But um, here we go. Come on. Right, we need to get past here. Use overtake. Use overtake. Well, we got past Lando. Can we get past Lewis now? Oh boy. That's why. Russell's in P5 though. So he must have overtaken Perez who started in P5. But we are running with the big boys now. Besides Stroll who couldn't start the Grand Prix to save his life. Up the, uh, well, around the outside of Lewis. These guys are quick, I'm not gonna lie. I think a podium is going to be hard to get here today. Come on. Can we do an Alonso and Perez? Yes, we can. Okay, we're getting close to George. Die for Boy McGee. We're still going to have DRX on signs. Off the slap. Let's go for the move on Carlos. Oh, we're going to go so deep. Leclerc and Alonso having a nice little battle here. <laughs> I was very tail happy there, but it's okay. What a move. We've got Alonso. He's got okay, no defense. That Aston is damn seconds. quick in the straight line. Here comes Fernando, let's defend. Beautiful and easy defense. We're following Max in, guys. Good entry. And go. Can we jump Max in the pit lane? No, we're definitely not gonna, but we're gonna be closer, I feel. Okay, go, go, go! Woo! Perfect job. We are, we're definitely a bit there, closer. And now we're on the quicker tire. He's on the hearts? Why? Now we need to get Max. We're close. We were on the quicker tire. But he's gonna be on the quicker tire by the end of the race on those hearts. Because we soft to wear very quickly. What a move on Max, and I'm gonna get Stroll as well. Okay guys, that is officially us in the next P1 of the race. I can't believe Devin Butler has just won a race. Surprises in the midfield. So where do we start, Ant? 
Well, I think we have to look at Connor Sport. And for me, they've been the biggest surprise so far. And Butler, he's doing fantastically well. The thing is, though, they've got to sustain that over the course of the whole season. And that is easier said than done. And certainly one Kasper Ackerman will be hoping that this season is better than his last. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. Devon Butler is, has just won a Grand Prix. <laughs> that does not look right. This is like... No! Oh, here we go. Start the season, Devon. You must be happy with that performance. And I smash it. I ju it just comes naturally to me. I've got to secure my reputation as one of the all-time. Oh my word! All of them are these lardy da fancy uh, on his on his high horse answers. I'm just gonna you say know, that. I wonder if anyone's been paying attention. You know, I I've always been fast. Everyone saw the problems we had with the car last season. Everyone saw that. Now this season, I get to drive a car that works, and surprise, surprise, I smash it. It's not rocket science. Well, you've had your share of run-ins in the past with teammate Aiden Jackson. Crucial question is, is that behind you? How do you feel about him right now? Oh boy, Butler's going to give us a, a typical nifty answer. Let's see. Aiden is too serious. You can't have any fun with him. He's got an attitude problem. I think we could be good friends, but he ignores me. Definitely not. Um, and if, it's F1. You have to be serious. So I'm going to go with he's got an attitude Listen, problem. Aiden is the greatest F1 driver of all time. You ask him, he'll tell you. What, you, you think I've got an attitude problem? Aiden has got stealth ego, let me tell you. You don't know it's there, and then it emerges. He's, uh, well, he's, a, he's a handful. Uh, trust me. Well, Connor Sport surprised everyone by appointing Casper Ackerman as team principal this season. So how do you feel about taking orders from someone that you've got such a history with? The past is the past. I'm sure he's thankful to have me. I wanted a more fiery, passionate character for a team principal. Having Casper back is comforting, like an old pair of shoes. I'm just gonna uh, let's give Casper some. I don't want to go bash Casper, guys. Casper's a good oh, guy. I like having old Casper back. Yeah, it's comforting, you know. It's like uh, it's like putting on an old pair of shoes, a very old pair of shoes. How old is Casper now, anyway? Like sixty. Still, Yo. he uh, he gets to live vicariously through me, which must be a real thrill for him. So uh, no, I'm pleased, very pleased. Well, you're embarking on a new year, but what would a successful season look like for you in 2023? Okay, guys, before I answer this question, this guy is an absolute behind. Oh, my word. Um, uh, making Gaspar laugh, impressing Davidoff, making Connor Sport the best team we can be. Uh, let's I'm go for that. I'm making it my personal mission to make a success of Connor Sport. And by the end of the season, you're all going to be saying what a wonderful team we are and how great a season we've had. And if you're doing that, then I'll consider it a job well done. Sure. Thank you so much for your time. No, no, not thank you for his time. Natalie, punch him, break his nose, rip his lip off, do something violent and gory. He's a total buttwad. Barring Grand Prix post race, chapter seven. Devon starts the season in fantastic form with an impressive result for Connor Sport at Insecure. I do not want to see if there's a post credit scene. The one time I do not want a post credit scene and let me guess there's going to be one. Yep. Great race out there today. Just in the highlights. Listen. I know we've had our run-ins and... Well, last season was last season. Fresh start for the team. He's not listening. What do you say? Huh, Jackson. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Bin's over there. Yeah. Nice one. How about the season just gone? 
Oh, my word. The 2023 season was completely different for Connor Sport. How so? But, uh, the car, for one. We'd ironed out the most critical issues, and it was just starting to live up to its potential. Can we talk about what happened with Devon? What happened to Devon? Guys, I don't think he wasn't listening to Adam. I just think he like... Obviously, we know now something happened. Something went wrong. What went wrong? The ball ran round up. An unpredictable start to the season. But Devon Butler came good. Let's see what Davidoff has to say. Yeah, what is it? Now that's how a butler takes care of business. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Carrying the team, Devon, as well as the butler name. I couldn't be happier. Yeah, yeah, it went well. Well? <laughs> I can't wait to hear what those clowns Ackerman and Connor have to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You okay, Dem? What? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, uh, just adrenaline, Dad. I just, I really pushed it out there today, you know? I just need to simmer down a bit. Of course you do. Let's talk later. I'll be at meetings, but so call me whatever you like. I'm... Proud of you, son. Let's just make sure today's result isn't just a one-off. Eh? Yeah. All right, all right. Ciao. Something's wrong with Devon, guys, and I don't know what it is. And I'm curious. Um, break. Ackerman's clearly had a word. First, Devon Butler's on fire. Yeah. Okay, there's another one. Man, fair play. That was an immersive drive, but I can't stand seeing that smug get up on the pony. <laughs> I like that. That smug get. I like that. Beep, beep. Don't be jealous. You sound like a Jackson fan. For the record, Casper Ackerman's not 60 years old. Devon bringing the banter as ever. Yeah, typical. Natalie Pinkham. Couldn't ask for more from Butler today. First place and the fastest lap to boot. What a turnaround for Connor Sport. That is true. What can I say? I am humbled. I knew Connor Sport were good, but that was something else. I'll have much more to say at the debrief and to each department in turn, but we are firing on all cylinders. Keep it up. It's a, this is only the beginning. Casper Ackerman, team principal, Connor Sport. Uh, another Casper. <laughs> Too many emails to read. Let's go to the next chapter because I honestly cannot wait. Chapter 8. Australian Grand Prix several weeks later. Chapter 8. A strong start to the season for Connor Sport has the team in high spirits as the paddock heads to Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. Again, it's vague. What's happening? Oh, we're still as butler. I'm going to do the emails first. Can you come down to the garage early? Aiden and Devon. Okay, never mind. Let's keep it up. Oh, guys, this is like... Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, Arava! That's the guy I've been searching for. Big prediction away from the top three. There will be a massive mid-tier shake-up as Connor Sport put all to shame. Okay. Anyone else that I want to read? David Coulthard. With Ricardo serving as a Red Bulls reserve driver, the home fans can now throw their full support behind rookie Oscar Piastri. Damn! Okay, news. Um, F2 superstar Kelly Mayer catching up with a champion. Her monumental win in Formula 2 last season has left many wondering just what's next for Kelly Mayer. Oh, I definitely achieved what I set out to do in Formula 2, perhaps a little too quickly, she replies when pressed on the matter. Just because I'm not visi visibly on track this season doesn't mean I'm not driving. I'm busier than ever. We ask what her daily routine currently looks like and if she now sees a, and if she now sees a future in Formula 1 after her success last season. I'm in the simulator most days and helping out one of the F1 teams with test driving and car evaluation, so who knows. It's difficult and not just about talent, so much is down to funding and being in the right place at the right time. Okay, that was a bright turnaround for Connor Sport, blah de blah de blah de blah. Uh, look into 2022's Albert Park 
update, blah de blah de blah de blah. Enjoy a varied history of Albert Park. No one cares. Okay, guys, let's go to the race. Australian Grand Prix mid race, chapter eight. A solid performance in qualifying has the team in a good position at the Australian Grand Prix. Please don't tell me it's another full race. Okay, well they say mid race, so let's see what happens. Here comes Butler. A good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go. That's a little too late. And he nearly goes off the track on the exit. And is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Croft. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. OK, Devon, we're going to have to ease off from the brakes. He can't hear a thing. Brakes don't feel right. OK, we'll have a look at it, but you're going to see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just going to have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on. Something is terribly, terribly wrong. Hold on to as many positions as you can. We're in P9? Got a lot of spare energy. Okay to use your overtake button. Guys, I'm just gonna drive as if I'm okay, like if it's normal. Okay, gap ahead, please. Three point zero seconds. Holy mother! Look at these guys. Do they have like super speed or something? I would like to finish in P9. No sleep streaming! No sleep streaming! Don't be like that! Don't be like that! Don't be like that! Fuseh! Fuseh! Guys, we're driving as Devin Butler, so we can drive a bit dirty. That works. Can we do it? Yeah, we can. How am I going to defend it on these sections? Like, seriously, with three laps still to go. You guys can go around the outside if you want, but seriously. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. A little bit argy bargy, but we okay, survive. Four laps of fuel remaining. Just get out of the damn slipstream. Here comes science, here comes science, here comes science. We've got him, we've got him. For for Connor Sport here. But it's not for Devin, it's for Aiden's sake. Thank you, bye bye. Come on. Yep, we've lost it now. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Come on! Wow, 
one final time. Beautiful defense. And we will stay in P9. I don't know how I did it, but I did. This was actually kind of freaking hard. Oh my goodness gracious me. What an end. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Look, this isn't the first time we've seen Devin Butler go rogue, but the question is, what are Connor Sport going to do about it? Well, it's really hard, as we've seen so many times before, Crofty, in the past, so hard to control your drivers. In a way, they're their own entity, but on the top of it, they're, they're working for the team, and that's what you want. Very hard situation to manage. And working for the team, Kasper Ackerman wanted to make a clean break for this year. This does feel, though, that it's something that they might have had to have dealt with last season. It's really not what they wanted. A repeat of what happened in the past, and you cannot let it go on. Can't continue. They're just, I'm sure they'll be having all their new standings. So will we. Yo, there's a lot that they want to talk about. Now, whatever the reason, you didn't respond to a team order today, Devon. In Hungary last season, you said it was a comms issue. But the team said the comms were fine. So what's your version of events this time? I'm not going to fuel any speculation. Mistakes sometimes happen. It was another Connor Sport technical issue. Now I'm going to say mistakes sometimes happen. I'm the most happen. trustworthy driver in the sport, Natalie. You know? Ask anyone. Look, what happens in Hungary was different, okay? Today, today maybe I lost my focus a little bit out there. And whenever you lose your focus, it's going to cost you. Devon, you finished the race with a compromised car today. What was that like for you? It was tough out there. I was pretty straightforward. It was just pretty straightforward. I did what I could, but what I am, but what am I supposed to do? I did what I could in the circumstances, but uh, you know what? I really need a car that I can push without worrying that I'm going to break something. That if the team can't give me a car like that, what am I supposed to do? Now, some have been saying that you do get preferential treatment because your father funds the team. What do you say to those allegations? I love preferential treatment. I actually think he prefers Aiden. My father's money has no bearings on my natural talents. It's practical for the team to prioritize their best driver. That's a typical Devin oh, Butler answer. A team often needs to prioritize their best driver. It's no big deal. Happens all the time. So how do you expect Connor Sport to perform this season based on your performance so far? We can win the whole thing. The car behaves itself we can do well we can only go as far as a with Aiden on the oh, I'm not gonna go that far if the car behaves itself we can do well they got me that. haven't they so uh, yeah I expect us to do pretty well if they can sort out the car this time around I'll get them all the points their little hearts desire that's great thank you <laughs> The drama is real, but I still want to know what the hell is wrong with this guy. Australian Grand Prix post-race. Chapter 8. A promising start turned into a difficult end, with Devon having to finish the race with a compromised car. Please tell me there's a cutscene before we go to Chapter 9. I'm begging you! Ooh, we're now playing as Casper. Could you take a look at this one? Then to switch development when we compete with our rivals um during the post race interview devon said he lost focus on track today what should our stance be um was we support him or we criticize him what happened out there today is unacceptable we ex oh let's be mean to so let's run through the emails oh wait a minute wait a minute you nip this in the bud Cass. do you hear me andreo butler what was that out there today i will not have a return to last season we are a team. He cannot be allowed to do just what he wants. They've just calm down. I have it under control. Well, this is Devon we're talking about. There is no control. He nearly lost the car, Casper. But he didn't. You know what it gets like out there. I'm sure there's an explanation. Or an excuse. And we'll find out. I'll be racing it at the debrief, okay? So I'll report back to you. Uh, okay, um... Yeah, hang on, look, I've got to go. I've got David off on the other line. <laughs> of course you have. Enjoy. Wow. Clearly. 
there is a lot of unhappy campers. Yo, even with a compromised car, Butler still outperforms his teammate. Ugh, just shush. It Devon says he gets preferential treatment because he's the better driver. Um, is that fair enough? I think it might actually be. Um, so an eventful race for Butler here in Melbourne, even with the car issues, he still managed to managed a very respectful ninth place in some for, and some valuable points for Connor Sport. Um, impressive given the issues, but just imagine what he could have done if he didn't go off script. Ackerman must be pulling his hair out. Probably. Arava and TMH Bardock 2 in 1. Let's go, boy. Am I having deja vu or didn't or didn't this happen last year with Butler op openly ignoring team orders? What is going on down at Connor's Sport? Arava, we're on repeats already. Are we going to have some more cost cap drama next? Reruns, hash, hashtag reruns, hashtag 2022. Shoo, here we, that, that was intense. And then finally news, the case of the missing team order. Okay, obviously the comfort from the... Okay, 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 guys, I'm going to leave it on the case of the missing team order. You guys can read that. While I end this wonderful video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying till the end. It's been an epic video. I can't wait to figure out what on earth is wrong with Devin Butler. I mean, ah, this is frustrating me. I want to know now, but I can't, but I want to, but I can't, but I want to. Watching, thank you so much for staying on the video down below. I would highly appreciate it and it means a lot to me. And finally, hit the subscribe down below and don't forget to ding that bell to never miss a future video. Right here on Turbo Fox Races. Guys, thank you for all the support recently. Now that I'm back on the channel posting um, um, a lot. I really appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. What's going to happen next? Cheers!